I have to leave the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first another congress that I'm organizing for uh, the community. Uh, I mean, the idea of this congress is to be a, a place for sharing and learning and understanding more the, of the capabilities of this software. Um, well, if you are here, you probably know what Valor is. Uh, anybody doesn't know what it is? I mean, you bought a ticket just for learning or or just for understanding your knowledge and, and understanding. So just let me introduce you a little bit about uh, what's going, what's going on. <laughs> okay, so rather to, uh, well, the rather project was born 10 years ago. Uh, it started like a tiny decimal editor just for uh, doing some forensic tasks. And uh, well, uh, basically it was a fun project for in my spare time and I was extending it and adding some new functionalities just for, uh, for my needs. So for example, when I was uh, doing some, uh, resolving some crack needs, for example, so I was just implementing the disassembler and analysis and so on. So I, I was basically adding uh, new functionalities when I was needing them, uh, when I was completing a CPF, etc. So the main problem is that the other one was a big uh, project in just a uh, monolithic uh, design, so it was not really uh, extensible. Uh, nothing super for scripting or plugins, it was uh, a little thing. So I decided to refactor the whole code base and implement it in, in what is right now in Radar 2, which is a modular design. And since then, the community has grown uh, really a lot. Uh, some people joined the, the project and they started doing some talks around the wall and, and the project is, is like, uh, there are like 400 people in the IRC and uh, it's like growing all, every day. So I'm pretty happy that something that I was just doing in my spare time and, and just, I mean, it was something useful for me and I thought that it was also useful for other people. So uh, seeing all this kind of feedback from the community and seeing that there is many people doing talks around the world and uh, the world was uh, encouraging me to, to make or organize this, this congress. Uh, and I think that it's something that uh, after seeing how many people was interested in grabbing one ticket, uh, uh, they were not able to, to, to do it because uh, one month before the starting the congress uh, there was no more tickets to buy. So I guess that next year uh, we will try to find some bigger place and so on. So the idea is to, um, to be a, a place for sharing uh, for all the community, hacker community and, and all the stuff that you can do with Radar. So uh, it's not just a hacking congress or it's maybe a robust engineering congress, but you can also find some topics about forensics or, or, or malware analysis, cracking, etc. So this conference will be three days. Uh, we're starting today and will be uh, two days, two tracks for uh, trainings. This room will be split in two and we'll start in maybe 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, two trainings, one training will be in the, in the back of the this room and the other training will be here. And tomorrow we will have a single big room and, and we will do it a single training. Uh, and then in the afternoon, there will be a only big room for all the talks. Okay, so there are two competitions, and I guess that uh, people that have been organizing them is uh, better to talk about that. Uh, the idea is that uh, there was some people proposing to organize some competitions, so they have some stuff to, to like advise for, for the people that are competing. And finally, both CPF or competitions are about uh, ADR. So if you want to play with that, um, if you want to learn more about this, uh, I will maybe will talk to you and explain it. Uh, also, if you are here, you should have a, a t shirt uh, back with a other Congress logo. The LGBL license, because uh, otherwise you can't use it if you don't accept it. And um, in the other side of the uh, LGPL license, there is a cheat sheet. I just wrote like a few comments that uh, pretty common to use when you are using Radar. Um, well, to, tonight there is a dinner. Uh, everybody is welcome to, to join. Um, let's begin. I would like to say thanks to all these people. Uh, 
all the stuff that people that have been helping me in organizing the, the congress, like uh, Manu, Black Hole, uh, Jackie, uh, and me, myself. Uh, there is also people uh, that joined at the last moment and helping me also in, in find some stuff and uh, well, all the speakers because uh, we thought the talks never been on the congress. Uh, there will be a friend of me who will be joining tomorrow who will be playing some tip tune. Uh, who is Neuroflip, he already played some Bitcoin uh, tracks and for other other releases. I'm happy to, uh, to have him. I would like also to say thanks to Nafsicu because it's a company that I'm working on and they are supporting me and giving me uh, some time for for organizing this. Uh, same for Aurea Social, which is this this place. So uh, I was looking for different places and this was uh, the best option. Uh, I will also say thanks to Camisetas Trikis and Delemente, which is the uh, two companies uh, that uh, did all the merchandising. Uh, same for Hacker Street, uh, who did the design of this poster. And uh, La Paper, who is a friend that uh, created the poster. So it's... And well, just one more thing. There is this repository. I don't know if you already uh, check it out. Check out this repository. Uh, uh, all the speakers have access to this repo, and they will be pushing all the examples, source code, uh, slides, and other contents in there. So if you have any issue or any request, you can just fill an issue. Uh, if you want to ask for something, I mean, you have the GitHub uh, IDs of all the, all the speakers, and uh, we'll be pushing all the slides in here. So, and this is the one. And this is the wireless password. If you use it, if you don't have it, uh, just uh, R2 phone and press it. And the password is R2 phone Wi Fi with a WB number case. And I will try to make two breaks one in the morning, in the mid morning, and one in the mid afternoon. So uh, no, I will try to record everything. We are recording this and, and we will upload it to YouTube and we'll try to improve over time. So I guess that maybe the last day we will be able to do. Uh, 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 real time streaming. So let's go. <laughs> so let's let's uh, explain how are the competitions uh, gonna work. And I mean. <laughs> So I'm, go I'm gonna tell more details during my talk, but uh, the idea is to get this uh, in exchange of uh, having like implementing support for SEAL in uh, uh, Radar and the other the ABR architecture. Right now there's a lot of to-dos in the source code. So there's one that, that uh, puts together a comprehensive pull request on, on that. Uh, we'll have my blessing and therefore <laughs> we'll, we'll uh, be a, the new owner of this uh, machine. So that's that's pretty much it. I will give a little bit more details during my talk, but uh, and, and you can also like approach me and ask uh, exactly what is it about. Right. So let's do it. <laughs> Can you hear me? Uh, well, I want to present the uh, the other. Mike's uh, Cl closer. Um, I want to present the the other ABR challenge. Um, uh, this is uh, the title of the uh, uh, presentation of the competition. 
and uh, I work at Rescuer, and my name is. This is the normal things that we do at work. So we do side channels uh, in hardware, we do full injection in all kind of devices. Uh, we also work in, uh, in the embedded uh, world and we also do a lot of uh, software stuff. These are all the, uh, the main uh, components that we analyze every day, like smart cards, PPD chipsets, IoT devices, and uh, gas meters, routers, everything. And also we do a lot of software. We use Radar uh, at work as well. And basically, the agenda for today is just to present you like what is RHME stand for, and uh, the development, and uh, basically the second version. Well, uh, the question is, what is uh, risk of hacking? And if you don't know what it is, uh, I think every, everybody knows what is a CDF here, and uh, I don't have to explain too much. Uh, normal, normal people think always uh, about the war game, but uh, I think uh, you guys can have this in mind, so you have software, you get the challenge. And, but it, uh, what it is actually is uh, a PCB, so we give you a PCB with all the challenges in there, and uh, you have to solve some, uh, some stuff. Uh, Actually, there are many. Uh, uh, basically, is uh, everything is embedded in an Arduino Nano. Uh, apparently, it's the the first uh, hardware CDF that ever was published. Uh, this is the first version, and uh, the uh, the goal of these uh, challenges is to get three flags, and uh, they have different uh, difficulties. So you have to do some different uh, things in order to get them. Uh, it, each each uh, challenge can be solved in many ways, so not only hardware exploitation, but you can also do software exploitation. Uh, we presented last year at uh, Black Hat 2015, and uh, when you think about uh, Black Hat, you see thousands of hackers, and uh, we gave away like hundreds of them, and uh, only two people solved, and uh, yeah. I think you heard right, only two people of, uh, out of uh, 100 people. One of them, they were Cisco, the Cisco team. Uh, there are many people, uh, they, have, uh, they also have money, they can solve it. But then we have another guy that he, he was a professional photographer and he was <laughs> the most uh, curious guy. Uh, basically, what we learned is that if you use like uh, third party libraries, they can have uh, bugs that you were not uh, expecting. So the guy, he found some uh, bug in the uh, crypto ABI library and he was able to exploit the bull ladder and he got all the flags. So we have open those for him. Uh, the development of, of this uh, challenge, it was made by two guys. Uh, on the, the right side is uh, Alexandru, Romanian guy. He's, uh, you, can, you can find him in, uh, uh, in the chat. He's Alekhen, uh, his nickname. Uh, another guy from Spain, uh, Ramiro, maybe uh, now no. Some of you, you know him, and uh, we uh, chose this uh, hardware because it was really cheap, so we want to give it for free uh, to everyone, and uh, as explained before, we are uh, focused on phone injection side channel that is more or less in the hardware, and um, also we are doing software, so we want to combine something. And uh, these are the, uh, this is the, the flow that you can solve the problems, so there are not only one way to solve them. So. Like programming, you have many ways to do it. Uh, we have a second version that is now ongoing, so that we want here. I want to uh, present you. Uh, there is different styles, so uh, uh, there is different also um, a new team, and maybe uh, we don't know yet the uh, new hardware. Uh, basically, now it's like a more like a CPF like you have in mind, so you can choose uh, what you want to do, like phone injection or exploitation or crypto. But if you are good in just exploitation, you can do all the exploitation uh, tags and uh, you don't have to focus on the other ones. Uh, for this, we spent quite some time uh, developing the, uh, the bull ladder, uh, because uh, the one that we keep looking look, look at, it was not really secure. Uh, we are offering uh, also some uh, development environment for people creating challenges. And uh, yeah, we are, uh, we are going to offer also tutorials and more things. 
timeline for the second version. So uh, basically now it's open. You can solve the challenge, and then a rescue company sends to you to your house the uh, the, uh, the original uh, Arduino, the uh, bootloader, and then you can register the board. You get some keys, and then you can uh, load download some challenge, and then solve it. You get another challenge, and, and so on. Uh, this is the. Uh, I, I only have uh, ten boards for uh, uh, giving to you. Um, there's one challenge that is more for progressing for the people they don't know much about exploiting. It can be solved in three minutes, five minutes maximum. So I encourage you to solve it as soon as possible. Five boards, and then for the people that they have more uh, understanding about exploiting and they want to play a little bit more, I recommend you the the actual challenge. Uh, this is uh, you can find it in, in the heat up rescue uh, 20, 2015 and uh, 2016. And uh, yeah, you just uh, drop me an email. Uh, this is my address. Uh, say that you are solving exploitation or reversing. Uh, the title of Radar uh, Rescue has me. Your name and please uh, use Radar to solve the challenge. Uh, and also please uh, add the, uh, the log uh, of the things that you did. Uh, ask me anything during the, the Congress over here. And uh, if you don't get any, uh, there is a still open. Uh, Rescue has me too. So you can solve it, send it to the email that is in the website, and then you will receive the uh, board. We have a maximum 100 boards, so be fast, and that's all. Thank you.